Hi Aquarius, this is Chronic Joy Tarot and we're here to do your mid-September reading for September 2017. I've pulled one oracle card here for you. Um, this is from the Ascended Masters deck by Doreen Virtue and it is a good one. It's the Spiritual Law of Attraction. This is the card I pulled for to guide your reading today and it's good. It, it really... You know, um, the law of attraction is just like the law of gravity. It's it's part of um, you know part of life. It is the, it's a truth of life, and what it says is, if you're not familiar with it, is that your thoughts create your life. That which you focus on will grow. Right? Whatever it is you focus on grows. So if you look around and you see a, a, a group of loving, beautiful, uplifting people that are in your life, that's just an indication of your own capacity to be loving and um, caring and nurturing because you've drawn that in. You put it out there and it comes to you. If you look around and you see stuck energy, um, um, blocked goals, negative people, then your own thoughts have been predominantly, you know, tipped toward the negative, um, the negative end of the scale. But the fun thing about it is you can change it. <laughs> if you do find yourself kind of stuck and in a place where you're not, um, you know, you're not fully, you're not fully loving it, then you can change it. Just this means just raise your thought process to a more positive level. You, um, you, you also might find yourself in a wonderful place. Like you have a new situation that's beautiful and wonderful for you. And that's because you did the work and you, your affirmations, your prayers, your, your meditations, your visualization have brought this situation to you. So we're going to see how this can be applied in the next few weeks for you, Aquarius. Okay. Yes. Look at this. This is <laughs> how much do those go hand in hand? The consciousness card. This is the starting point where you're at. So I'm getting a feeling that you're definitely um, working on raising your level of consciousness. And it's working. It's working. Just by being here and, um, you know, taking the Zen guidance here with my, my tarot deck here is a sign that you're tapping into that intuitive space that, hold, that you hold, that everyone holds. Um, and... And it's working and you you have the ability to draw in more positive situations people and feelings into your life it starts with you um, I think that if you already have a prayer or meditation practice wonderful because that's what's getting this momentum going if you don't have a regular practice maybe start you know and it doesn't mean you have to sit and Ohm and sit still you know meditation can happen in many ways you can meditation is simply the act of shedding those cluttered thoughts from your mind right so it's really about just getting into your zone the zone of who you really are underneath all those thoughts and tapping into the core of your soul now some people can do this by running or house cleaning or listening to music and just dancing for a half an hour, um, reading, being with kids and playing and, and just observing nature or animals. You know, that, that there's a meditative quality in many, many moments of our day. And it's just a matter of having the awareness of it. So whatever you're doing right now, Aquarius, you're doing a great job. You're on your way. And if you feel like you're in a place where it's a little stuck and things aren't really moving, work on more meditative time and, and shift that focus, shift your, um, your outlook to a more positive level. It will, it will help, believe me. And sometimes, yeah, sometimes it takes a little work. Okay, I was going to say the energy here, sometimes, you know, we get blocked and we can't move on. And the position of this card is literally the card that blocks the entire reading. If you can't get past this energy, it's kind of hard to proceed. And I pulled the suppression card. So this is doesn't mean you're suppressed and you're all bottled up, but it means that we want you to take take um, 
your thoughts, you know, be more aware of those moments when you're holding back and when you're bottled up and when things get kind of stuck within you. Be aware of those moments and then shift it, right? Shift it and take those thoughts and put them toward your desires. You know, we when you hear anybody talking of the law of attraction, they say, you know, um, put your focus on your desires, on the things that you want, not the things you don't want. And we, we think, oh, well, I do. I always think about what I want. But the trick is, do you think about what you want and then in the next moment point out the awareness of its absence? Because that's, the, that's how the law of attraction works. It, it's wherever your thoughts are. And if you go, I want five pennies, but I don't have five pennies, then the universe hears, you know, no five pennies. I don't have them and I'm not, I'm not going to get them. I'm blocked from them. So this card's really important here. This is an internal sort of um, um, sort of a internal energy that's brewing or that has the potential to brew in all of us. We all have a point of where we hold back or we push things down because we don't want to express them all the time. This is okay. This is part of being human. But what we're guiding you here to do is be more aware of those moments and then maybe they can pass more quickly, right? The external energy, um, gosh, I just said it. Be more aware <laughs> of those moments. So your external, your outward, and how this shows up in your life, if you can stay in your higher level of consciousness more often than not, not that you're going to be perfectly always there. You know, we're not all um, as fully enlightened as the Buddha was, but... Um, be more aware of those moments when you have your your thoughts in a more positive level and when they drop and when you're pu pushing in and, and bottling things down be aware of that too you know that and on your external life it's going to create a clarity for you this awareness card literally is showing the veil burning away right so if you can get through this process of First of all, know whatever your thoughts are, you're going to draw it into your life. So more time with the higher consciousness thoughts, more time with the positivity. You will come upon moments that trip you up and you will come upon moments that um, hold you back and make you feel like bottling up and that's okay. Be aware of it, love yourself, and then move on. Okay, the next internal energy here is the sense of community, the sense of connectedness with everyone around you. So this is important. This is important to master when in your meditations, like when you're sitting with yourself and having your your moments of, you know, visualizing you know, your law of attraction moments or your your meditative moments. Tapping into that energy that there is no separation. There is no concept of them, you know, no us and them. It's just we, always. It's always we, all of us. No matter where we reside, no matter um, what kind of a being we are, if we're an animal or an, a plant organism or an adult or a child or what culture we're from, we are, we are all one. And so tapping into that um, stream of energy and realizing you're not alone. You're part of a bigger picture. It's it's really all flowing the way it's supposed to. That helps. And that helps get past this feeling of suppression as well. Okay. Yes, the integration card. This is an external um, outcome of the work that you're doing internally. And it's wonderful because it's showing the balance of life. You know, the the black and white, the male and female, yin and yang, the the eagle, the swan, right? Um, your higher consciousness, your lower consciousness, the sun and the moon, everything balances. Everything, that's what the nature of life is, is to create a balance. And remember what we talked about here, you know, know that those moments come and that's just part of the balance. Those moments that come that bring you down a little bit and that hold you back and that get you stuck, they're there for you to, to learn and grow from right? They have to be there. They have to. And you're getting it. You're getting a much better sense of um, a feeling of balance in your 
in your life right now, Aquarius. It's coming. It's all happening. And you're drawing all this ability in for yourself, right? Using the law of attraction. You are um, you're the creator of your life. You are the creator. The one thing that the internal energy that we want you to be careful of is too much going on in the mind. Okay? It's easy as human beings with intelligent minds to put, do, put all our work up there and put it all up there and just let things ruminate and roll around and, you know, um, you know, pros and cons, good and bad. It's really easy for us to get stuck up there. So what we're saying, remember, the highest form of mind, the highest state of mind is this higher consciousness, right? Tapping into your intuition, tapping into connecting to spirit and, um, you know, knowing that we are all connected. That is an important sort of remedy or balancing when you feel like you're in too much headspace. When you feel like you're going, there's too much going on in your head, um, you know, tap into that sort of opening that goes on in your third eye and then knowing that we're all connected, knowing that, you know, the moments that are sticky are just part of life. They're part of the path and you could step around them every now and then. You're getting it though. The awareness is coming. You're drawing in good things to your life. The balance is there. And I love this, this outcome card here. The top of the reading is the card of wisdom and maturity. You know, this figure can rest easily knowing that life, it, you know, it's cyclical and it comes and goes and the good comes and it goes and the bad comes and it goes. But you can rest in your center and allow all of that to happen around you and know that you're always, you're always, you know, you're an eternal being and you will always be okay. You will always move through it. You'll always move past. So these two sort of counter each other, right? The mind chatter internally, but then on, on, you know, when it comes down to it, you kind of can rest in the knowledge that, that it's okay. You know, we're, we're okay. Um, I'm thinking that maybe in the next few weeks, if you can shift and begin to really focus on the knowledge of, of the law of attraction and the knowledge that the, the thoughts you think are actually creating the things you see, you know, um, like, you know, if you played that game on the freeway, you know, yellow car, let's look for all the yellow cars. Then suddenly how many yellow cars there's, it's like, you've never noticed how many yellow cars there are. Correct. That's how the law of attraction works. So when you want to look for those five pennies, talk about the five pennies. Five pennies are so fun. There's one for each fingertip. I get to hold them in my hand. They feel so good. I love five pennies, right? Just focus on the knowledge that it's there for you and um, not too much time in your mind saying, oh, but the five pennies aren't in my hand, so I can't really feel them, right? More, more visualization of what you want and less of, you know, what you believe is the only reality available to you, which is what you see right now, okay? More imagining, more upliftment of, you know, that third eye, more opening of it. You're getting it though. I love this um, real world sort of external energy arm of your reading because it's showing that it's you're getting more clarity, you're balancing it out, and you're able to sit in your wisdom and know that all is well. I love it. Okay, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I'm still so appreciative of everyone's um, engagement with the channel and liking and sharing and all the subscribing that's happening. It's been really fun having a good time. Thank you for watching and I'll be back in the early part of October for your October reading. Take care. Bye.